Most of you don't know me. Sometimes I don't even know me. But what I do know is that in the last few months, I've been mindlessly operating in a lifestyle society has raised me in. Working in eight to five, eat, sleep, repeat. Being this early on in my career, I've been struggling to find the balance between that life and actually living my life. I always end up just lounging around my apartment, binging Netflix, or having friends over. Whatever it is, I never go out and explore. But adventure is out there. The world is calling. And though social media makes it seem like adventure means going on glamorous travel trips, that's not always the case. Adventure could be the little steps that you take outside of your comfort zone, even if it's just for half a day on a weekend. It is currently 2.39. So much for fixing my sleep schedule. This is not happening tonight. This is pretty early. No, time to sleep. Good night. We're going on adventure today. We're heading to Edmonds to go to the market for some lobster rolls and some other things on the market because mm -hmm. you're allergic to lobsters. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Ready? A. B. Okay, let me explain. There is a reason for the disdain on Katie's face. Two days ago, we opened this thing called an adventure challenge book. Basically, you turn to any page in the book and then you scratch off for a spontaneous idea. Time to get your A game on. We'll make that your ABC game because you're about to play alphabet slappers. Here's how it works. Head into town and start walking. As you walk, search for the letters of the alphabet in alphabetical order, starting with A. The letters can be on anything, signs, logos. Players cannot count the same letter, so whoever touches it first wins the letter. J, J, this is mine, this is mine, I got it. The game mode is on. And just to preface, this is not sponsored at all. This is just me using the book because it's very interesting. But maybe sometime down the line, I love traveling. But the issue is that I rely on that travel high so much that my everyday life just seems super mundane. And for the last six months, I've been trying to find ways to fix it because I have to find some way to be content with the everyday life, the nine to five. So with that said, I turned to finding external motivations like these prompts from the adventure challenge books to get me out of the house and find more interesting activities to do without needing the energy to come up with those ideas. I hope it doesn't get <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna protect our rolls. <laughs> Baby fat rolls. <laughs> You're just giving some space in case, like, the best lobster roll you've mm -hmm. ever had. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is getting hot. First, First time. First time. First time Katie eats faster than I do. Something as simple as a 30 minute drive to a town I've never been to in the six years I've lived here made all the difference. Though it might seem uneventful for some of you, for a homebody who clings incredibly tight to routines and discipline, this little half hour getaway was everything. Guess what? Mm -hmm. I hit 200 subscribers today. <gasps> yeah, I woke Congrats! up to two extra. So yeah, it's, it's a little over three months, three months and two days. And I was hoping to hit it by the end of the year, mm -hmm. but here we are before the end of the year. We still have 15 days left and this is, this is pretty, pretty sweet. That's awesome. I know. Congrats to you. Thank you for being one of the first five subscribers. Oh, I am? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. I think we'll just sign off here while we watch the sunset. We can't even see the sun. See you on the next adventure. All right. Peace. Bye. Peace. We've got sand in our shoe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's in my socks. I just wanted to say thank you all so much for all the support. It's been really, really wonderful the last three months. And only up from here, 2023 is only gonna get better. And if you haven't subscribed, join the party of figuring out this thing we called life and our 20s and just being happy, free, lonely, and confused at the same time. And yes, indeed, I did quote Taylor Swift. I wish I got tickets to a concert. <laughs>